how to customize your brand templates in Opus Clip. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, I show you how to create profitable content. Okay, so I'm here in Opus Clip right now. And in order to customize the brand templates, you do need a paid plan. So once you're logged into your Opus Clip, you can click here on your profile picture and you'll see here brand templates. Setting up these brand templates are going to save you time. Like I said, we create short clips using Opus Clip for ourselves and our clients. So I'm gonna click brand template and depending on your plan here, it's gonna show you how many templates you have to brand. So my plan includes five. So I'm gonna click on this one right here. All right, so this one is a blank one and hasn't been set yet. So what I like to do first is I like to start from the beginning and I like to open up the layout settings. So I like to go in chronological order. Now just note that whatever you save as a template, isn't set in stone. It's just has it pre-saved so that when you load up your clips, it already applies it on. But let's say for whatever reason, you wanna change the font, you wanna change a color, you wanna change the size of something, you definitely can. All right, so layout settings. So what do I want as a default layout? Typically, I want the portrait mode because I am taking these clips uploading them to YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and Facebook, and they all accept vertical format. So choose the best layout for you. Then next here, layout preferences. So this is only going to be applicable if you have another speaker on screen. So if you have two people, three people, I have this set to auto, and most of the time it gets it correct. It is a computer, so sometimes there are errors and I have to fix it, but most of the time it is getting it correct and I do leave it on auto. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling by, I don't touch this. The next one here, fit layout crop aspect ratio. Choose whether to crop the original screen to achieve a more zoomed in frame. So I typically leave it to this here and you can hover over it and you can see what it originally looks like. It depends what the video originally looked like. Again, I'm typically leaving it to this style. The emojis, so I actually like them, but they don't always get them correct, but I will typically leave these on and then I'll go and delete them if they don't fit whatever the person is saying. Sometimes the emoji that they choose doesn't necessarily go with what they're saying, so I might delete it, but I'd rather have it on then go through and add the emojis. Next here is to choose the caption style. So they have some preset caption styles and you can go through and choose the style that you like. I typically choose the karaoke, but you can choose something like this, deep diver or something like this, pop line. Like I said, we mainly choose this one. Next is going to be the number of lines you wanna show up. So do you want three lines of text or do you want only one line of text? Typically I leave this to three, but I know some people just like only one line to show up. Again, it's personal preference. Caption transition. So this is like the animation of how the text is moving. Right now it's set to bounce. Here's underlined, box, pop, you can go through all of them and see which ones you like. Again, if you don't want any of this type of an animation to happen, you can just toggle this off. Next here is the color. So if you wanna just leave it to this standard green, which is a very vibrant green, you know, you're gonna be able to see the colors, you can just leave it to that. Or you can, or if you have a specific color code, a hex code for your branding, you can enter this color in or you can use the eyedropper here to sample the color. Let's say if you wanted to sample this purple here. So you saw the purple there on one of the underlines. This is for the underline color. Next is the caption position. So typically this is set to auto and most of the time it gets it correct. But like I said, it's an AI, it's a robot. It doesn't always get it correct. Sometimes I need to like put it at the top. Now, one thing I will say about this is you can't move it exactly where you want it to be. Like when you click top, this is where it is. You don't get to move it higher or lower or move it off to the side. It's either top, middle, or bottom. So be aware that as of now, you can't move this around. Maybe in the future they'll add that in. So I typically leave this to auto. Next is the font style. So again, it is set to this font, but if you have a specific font for your branding, you can change it to that. 
just make sure that it's a big bold font. There is a reason why it is this font because you can clearly see the words, you can read it, it's not hard. I wouldn't suggest doing any handwriting or any of that kind of stuff or really thin fonts. Thick fonts tend to work best. You can see here you can change the size. Now this has its standard to all uppercase, again, because it makes it easier to read. But if you don't like all the uppercase, you can change it to the first letter being uppercase. Personally, I like it all uppercase. I think it looks really good. Here are the main font colors. So the, the font color is white here. You can change this. The font stroke, which is the outline, that's black. And then the font shadow, which is black. So again, you can choose whatever brand colors you want. Just make sure that you know, the colors work and that it's legible to read. Next is this AI keywords highlighter. So this will highlight certain words either in this color or in this color that the AI deems noteworthy. Now, most of the time it works, but there are times where they've highlighted a word in, in the one sentence, like let's say they'll highlight the word lines, but you really wanted multiple to be highlighted. You would then need to go in and alter that yourself. If you don't want to deal with the highlight and you know it incorrectly highlighting a word, then you can just turn this off and it won't do any highlighting, but it still will do the main color that you chose. So you can see here, I went back to caption transition and I went from underline to bounce and you can see that it has the purple now going per word. And if I scroll back down to the bottom and if I turn on AI keywords highlighter, you can see that it's highlighting the words multiple lines and page, but maybe you don't want that. So you can just turn this off and then it's just going to have the main color, the purple one, go through each word while you're saying it. So again, it's all personal preference. My advice is just make it legible where people can read it and not get too distracted. And lastly here, you can put a screen overlay. So a logo, it says here for best results, use a high res PNG with a transparent background because if you upload a logo like with a white background or a black background, it might not look as seamless and you can easily upload this image here and it will stay on screen. I'll show you in another template. We have both our uh, black logo and our white logo. So after you've gone through everything and you like it just the way it is, I know it seemed kind of long, but trust me, this is going to save you time for the future because now you don't have to do this every single time you put a video into Opus Clip. You did the time now when you load a video, for Opus, you can just choose this template. So after you've gone through everything, you just click save template and then name your template to what it is so that you know and you don't get confused. And then boom, there you go. You've got your template ready to go and then it's easily able to be applied onto your videos. Now let me just show you quickly the logo. So you can see here, this has our logo in white and if you click on it, you can move it. You can get it into position here. Once you get into place, you just click save and then now the template has been saved. So that is how you customize your brand templates. I'm telling you, it saves a lot of time. If you have access to brand templates, I highly recommend taking the time to set them up. Oh, and if you don't have Opus Clip, head down to the description below. If you enjoyed this video, we have our affiliate link there. If this video helped you out, it would be greatly appreciated if you used our link. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.